Have you always wanted to design massive ships with intricate detail? Or perhaps you just want to have a way to showcase your ships that you have designed? Maybe you want to test new ideas in creative, but don't necessarily know how to correctly make your creative world function the way you would like. Today I'll talk about how to easily set up a creative world with any skybox you want, how to remove asteroids and AI clutter, and how to add mods and plugins to your creative experience to help save you time when designing your next ship. Before we create our world, I'd like to mention the plugins I use from Plugin Loader. There's quite a few plugins I use when in my creative world, and I would recommend you use these as well if you want to save yourself a lot of time. If you do not have Plugin Loader, I'll be making a video on how to download it very soon, so make sure to subscribe. Some of the different plugins I like to use are Block Picker, which allows you to copy blocks you're looking at, Large Planets, which allows you to spawn very large planets for testing, Skybox Mod Loader, which allows you to change your skybox on the fly, Build Info, which gives you extra information on every block, such as its integrity, its resistance, and just helping you choose stronger blocks overall. Easy Blocker Naming, which helps you manage your control panel. And lastly, Projector Highlighter. This will highlight any unfinished or damaged blocks on your grid, and it's super useful for finding that one block on your ship that you may have accidentally damaged and now you can't find. Now let's go ahead and create a world by clicking New Game. I personally prefer to make all of my creative worlds in the empty world scenario under custom game. This will help give us a clean world to work with and shape it any way we want to. Don't worry because we can add any planets or asteroids later on. I'll go ahead and name this world Test World. Now, when making your creative world, you may choose to add mods to help you either test new projects or play with different blocks. Before adding any desired mods to your world, you must first subscribe to them on the workshop. If you'd like to add a specific skybox to your world, then you can do it now as well when adding mods. However, if you use Plugin Loader, then you can change your skybox later at any time as well. To add mods to your world, click the mods at the bottom. From here, you can select any mod that you have installed or subscribe to on the workshop from the left and use the arrow keys to bring it to the right to include it onto your world. If you add some mods now and decide later on to either remove them or add more, you can go back to this menu by going to the load game menu at the main menu. I'll go ahead and test out this new Halo weapon pack. To do so, I'll go ahead and use the arrows to bring it over. And since this mod requires the prerequisite weapon cord mod, I'll go ahead and add that too. Lastly, to show you guys how to include different planets later on, I'll go ahead and bring in this golden Xenon planet mod as well. If you want to add a skybox from here, you can. You just have to drag it over. Some of my favorite skyboxes in Space Engineers are Neutral for the realism effect, Pure White, which is uh, great for building, Green Screen, which is good for making edits, and Asteroid Skybox, which looks very cool in my opinion. If you're interested in using any of these, I'll have them linked down below in the description. Now you are done, so go ahead and press OK. Next, we're going to go ahead and play with some of the advanced settings before creating our world to help us create a world specifically for designing ships. Make sure to keep environment hostility on safe. This will stop any meteors blowing up on any projects on planets and will also reduce lag too. Then this next one's preference, but I like to keep asteroid amount on none. This will make it purely empty world to start. So don't worry though, because we can spawn in individual asteroids later on if we choose. Limited world size can stay at unlimited. I like to leave the sun rotation off. This helps with consistent lighting when working on a ship. So you don't have to worry about the sun rotating all around having to keep changing positions every five seconds. I prefer to toggle off thruster damage, cargo ships, random encounters, and lastly auto respawn. All quality of life changes that'll also reduce lag. If you want to test thrusters though, you can keep thruster damage on. Now that all of our preferences are set up, we can go ahead and start our world. Now that we are in our creative world, you can see that I'm using the neutral skybox, which gives like a realistic lighting effect. If I want to change the skybox with plugin loader, I can use the slash skybox command and select the new skybox like so. So here's the pure white skybox that you may have seen other YouTubers using in their videos when designing ships. For now, I'll go ahead and keep it on the neutral skybox to save everyone's eyes though. Now I'll go ahead and show you how we have our Halo weapon pack that I added earlier so I can now play with this mod and test it out on different ships or even make new ships using these weapons. As you can see when I hold the block, I now have more information such as the integrity and the resistance of these Halo weapons on the left side of the screen from the build info plugin that we talked about earlier. Next I'll go ahead and show you guys some useful keybinds to help you save some more time and be more efficient while in creative. 
Some of the best keybinds are F8 to use the spectator camera. Control space to bring your character to your spectator camera. F6 to return back to your character. And then F10 to open the item spawn menu. Uh, this will help you spawn in any planets or asteroids later on. Alt F10 to open the admin menu. From here you can clean up any entities you don't want. So if you have like a blown up ship that's just taking up space. Next, I'll go ahead and show you how to add planets to your world. I'll go ahead and open the item spawn menu using the shift F10, and I'll go ahead and use the drop down menu to go to the planets. Then from there, I'll select the planet I want to choose, Golden Xenon, and I'll change the size of how big it is with the slider. If you have the large planets plugin, you can make them even bigger as well. Now I click spawn, left click, and boom, we have a planet. If you want to spawn in asteroids, you can do the exact same thing we just did using the predefined asteroids and the procedural asteroids selection on the drop down menu instead. All right, that's going to wrap up today's video. If you have any helpful tips on other ways to improve your creative world, feel free to comment about it down below. If you enjoyed this video or found it useful, please consider liking the video and hitting that subscribe button. It would mean a lot. Thanks again for watching. Peace out.